always been fascinated with things that fly. Technology is also passion. And I was always interested in how far you can push technology to make it feel like you have superpowers. In fact, it's a machine. We want to build a hoverboard that can work for pretty much everyone. I come from a software environment, and this is totally different. Here you actually need to interact with suppliers, manufacturer, you need to set up teams, because you can't just work on your own and think you're going to build a vehicle. The machine uses drone-based technology. It's just a very optimized machine that's light and powerful and can push like two times and a half its weight. Ninety percent of the people said this thing is not going to work. Ninety percent. So we always had failure. Fire, controls blowing up. Sounds good. Good. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's do it. So yeah, 90% uh, of the people were wrong. With at uh, Dominique's chalet, we're gonna experiment. We're gonna try to push the machine a bit harder than we ever pushed it before. The controller is made out of pair of pliers. It's got the minimal elements that it takes to make it fly. It's your body. You're leaning towards the direction you want to move to. It has a learning curve. I saw people that had more trouble than others, but once you get it, you're totally in control. You're the pilot. Stop, stop, stop. Best part of the job is flying. Really, that's it. It's like a dream. You feel 
move the energy that's going to cause the force being directed towards the water and you feel your impact on the nature around you. It feels magical, intuitive, and it feels like you have superpowers. I've always been a curious kind of person. And when I see something, I'm always thinking, how far can I push this thing? What's the craziest thing we could do? What's the coolest thing we can do with that? What's the next thing that's gonna pop up? And with this kind of attitude in mind, you can achieve amazing things. Fighting fire with fire. Conventional wisdom says that's an exercise in futility. But at GE, we don't pay much attention to conventional wisdom. So we're going to conduct an experiment on Jason here to prove that you can fight fire with fire. Or, more accurately, with the sound of fire. The theory is intense bursts of sound cool flames, extinguishing them. Sound crazy? Well, actually, GE uses sound in a lot of innovations, including a new, more precise kind of mammogram that uses ultrasound instead of x-rays. But first, we need fire sounds. We'll need to mix these fire sounds to create the perfect frequency and intensity. We'll aim this sound at the fire with these modified speakers. Lots of them. Ready, Jason? Light him up. you can fight fire with fire. Sound. And if we can fight fire with fire, imagine the other impossible things we can do. Uh. 